Singapore, twenty. Twenty-four. Yeah, eighteen. It's March fourth, twenty eighteen. March fourth, twenty eighteen. And on my left, there is a portrait of my brother Arthur, pronounced the French way, Arthur, who was the second brother sibling among the five that we were long ago. I don't know exactly when this painting was, I suspect it was uh, 1939, probably exactly the same time of the, of the month. Yes. No. Nicole, you want to record me talking uh, and reminiscing stories. Uh, I don't know if I already, if I have already told why, why we're talking about this, this nice portrait. Even if I'm repeating, I'll say it again. I'll say it. Yeah. So, the signature is that of a Spanish artist who came to France as a refugee from, uh, as a refugee when his government, the government of Spain, lost the war to the fascist dictator Franco. Uh, I've already explained what this artist, whose name is Miguel Renau, of his Spanish name, spell R-E-N-A-U, mm -hmm. Uh, and what he did for the painting of the Prado. But you didn't explain it on tape, so you need to tell the story. So I'm, expect, I'm explain, explaining on tape uh, what he did that's very important. So, sometime during that civil war between Franco and the Spanish government, this artist, Miguel Renau, was the Ministry of Finance of the then Republican Spanish government. What he did is put in railroad car all the painting of Franco, the classic, the classic works of other Renaissance artists such as uh, refresh my memory. Guernica? You said Guernica? Uh, Guernica for, for a modern painting plus all the uh, Renoir? Were there, were there Impressionists? No, or? no, plus plus all the classic ah. painters of the Renaissance, the, the Murillo, the, uh, the Murillo and the other artists escaped me. Mm -hmm. The important point is that all those paintings of the Prados were loaded in railroad car and shipped to Switzerland for safekeeping during the time of this civil war. He thus performed, this Spanish artist performed an, an invaluable uh, protection for Spanish art, modern, 
as well as uh, classical art uh, earlier I, I, for, for Spanish artists I remember Murillo but I don't know of other artists of the earlier period no this is a question I'm asking you did I explain uh, what the Guernica painting was and why. the whole reference with the Nazi officers so why don't you tell that story daddy I should say it again yes again because you didn't say it on this video uh, it so happened that in 36 or 37 I'm not sure of the date uh, Guernica was was bombed from the air and it was a kind of a rehearsal of the more of the terrible bombing of the Second World War. The Nazis uh, pilot, Spanish or Italian, were training for the uh, for the Second World War really and Guernica was an act of pure destruction, which at that time scandalized uh, world opinion and certainly horrified uh, Picasso. Whence this beautiful, dramatic painting of people in agony surviving uh, destruction from the air uh, now and the officer came to Picasso's studio that's the story oh no there's a story of <coughs> so Picasso spent the war years of German occupation in 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 Paris in, and it, the story is that the German came to visit him and asked the simple question of, of who did that who did this referring to the painting and Picasso not not saying he did the painting said impl said in no uncertain term strongly a kind of accusation he, he answered the German officer by telling him, you did it, mm. as if you, the German, did painting. Okay, now other things you may want to hear from me. About about the relationship with Reynau and oh, your family the, and, yes, and yes. Raquel and also what happened to him during the war. Okay, no, this artist, Miguel Renau uh, was rescued rescued for the French uh, called what's the word where people are, are kept in a large concentration from, camp from the, from the from the concentration camp after the the victory of Franco. So Miguel Renard was in that uh, crowd of Spanish prisoners and Jose, who was then a medical student. Jose is your older brother. My older brother uh, from the University of Toulouse, where he was doing his medical studies uh, came to the concentration camp to vaccinate as many of the Spanish refugees as he could. This was as a kind of service to the French government. Wasn't that because then they could get out? That they, the Nazis yeah. said, the French yeah. said they couldn't get out because they were a health yeah. threat? And Jose yeah. said, I'll vaccinate them? 
Can you explain Jose that? Va Jose vaccinating them, making sure that they could be uh, taken out from the camp for a short period and eventually secure an exit visa to go out of France. These were Spanish and, artists. They were, yeah. All the Spanish artists were rounded up. Well, all the Spanish artists or any other or any other worthy uh, intellectual intellectual it says. not necessarily Jewish or were no, they all no 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 just Spanish mm -hmm. a Jewish had nothing to do with it mm -hmm. uh, Miguel Renau ended up in Mexico together with that very very famous Spanish very famous Spanish woman who happened to be there before that Hungarian. Frida Kahlo? Frida Kahlo. Mm -hmm. uh, what is to be understood is, oh yeah, is this. Many years after the war, The paintings, there's an article concerning me, an article of Miguel Renau, mm -hmm. which had been kept in the uh, Eastern Spanish Re uh, Republic, therefore the, the Soviet occupied Germany. And uh, in this painting, written in Spanish, the, uh, Renau said very clearly about Guernica, he said this, and I'm quoting, Guernica nos pertenece. Mm -hmm. and by that he maintained, he, he, he affirmed that Guernica, the painting of Picasso, was belonged to the the Spanish government mm. even if it is a Spanish government in exile. Mm. That painting was first seen at the international at the Exposition Universelle in Paris as a contribution of Spain as a contribution of Spain, along with German and other contributions. And don't forget to tell about Picasso's contribution during the war. You had mentioned something about... It was, it was Picasso. No, but you said something about him, money and refugees. What was he oh, doing? yes, yes. Uh, it so happened that in 1936 or 37, uh, uh, Arthur, my brother had helped Picasso go to the French uh, the French post office oh in Toulouse in Toulouse and there he was through the Spanish uh, service no Spanish French mm -hmm. post office service sending money to uh, other poor uh, necessity what's the word poor poor are poor Spanish refugee uh, practically incognito it was then that Picasso recognized that he was sending uh, that he was sending money to to help other Spanish compatriots. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? The story about Raquel. Oh, yes. The interest connection with that family is that <coughs> he... Renau. Renau, coming out of the concentration camp, did a beautiful portrait of Raquel, the wife of number one brother, my brother,
Father José, uh, a painting which I remember seeing with a beautiful dedication in Spanish, which I'm translating directly. I'm do the Spanish first. Uh, a Raquel Cohen, uh, que para mí fue como un vaso de agua fresca al salir del desierto. For me, to Raquel, who was for me like a glass of fresh water uh, upon coming out of the desert. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's a connection of the family. At that time, the painting was in a possession of Jose and Raquel uh, in the apartment. Jose and Raquel lived while my brother was doing his... In Toulouse? In Toulouse. While my brother in Toulouse was going through his, his, his studies to become a, a, a French MD. Mm -hmm. No, can I pause to have yeah. a little bit?